Okay, let's install speed test on your Synology. You're gonna need, of course, your Synology, and you're going to need PuTTY. This is the page where PuTTY is located, and you're also going to need the page with the software information from GitHub. This is where you find it on uh, Google or Bing. This is what the page looks like. We'll have this done in about eight minutes at the most. First, we go to the Packet Center and we're going to install Docker. We're going to install Git Server and we're going to install the text editor on our Synology. Docker is now called Container Manager and so that's what we're going to put in it for the new Synology DSM 7.2 takes a little moment to install and so we will wait and we're waiting do, 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 do. and there we go docker is now installed and now we're going to punch in git and there's only one git so now we need to install that and unlike everything else you install Git server is not running once you install it and we will see that come up later where I will then have to hit run. Okay, now we're gonna hit text and there is only one text editor. And then we install it and guess what, it's working. So I'm gonna go to the front and we're going to move those to the container manager for Docker and the text editor over to the desktop. All right, now let's go back to the desktop. Oh yes, now we're gonna need PuTTY and we're going to need the page with the software information. Oh, but first we have to go to terminal and whatever it's called and allow SSI. Yes, that allows PuTTY to access your machine. We log into PuTTY. But we use PuTTY to log into our Synology and you're going to have to put in your username and password here. <laughs> All right. Now, once we've put in our username and password, we're going to need to have root access. And in order to do that, we need to then type in sudo space dash I. And then of course, you have to put your password back in again. All right, now this is where, um, let's see. ah, that's right. You have to hit CD slash volume one on your Synology. And then if you hit DIR, which means directory, you get to see all the directories on your Synology at the moment. And you can see Docker is there. So now we need to get to the Docker folder, or Docker directory. So it's CD space, and you can just hit D and then tab, and Docker will just automatically type itself. Okay, now this is where we, uh, yes, scroll down the page a little bit, copy the first line, go back to PuTTY, and if you right click, what you just copied will be pasted. Okay. As you can see, Git was not turned on. So we need to go back to package and hit run. There's always something. Okay, now, if you hit up arrow, what you last typed will show up again. So there we go. Now we need to open up the file manager, go to Docker, go to speed test, open it up. And then we're gonna open up the text editor and you're gonna see me change the 
interval from 3600 seconds, which is one hour, to 1800 seconds, which is once every half an hour. Now, of course, you can change that to 900 seconds, which is if you do a speed test every 15 minutes, but that seems a little excessive to me. I'm stuck at a half an hour. And so, okay, now we need to then save it and you have to get rid of that dot sample at the end. Okay, and now we're going to delete the dot sample file because what's left is the environment file there. The, yeah, ENV. Okay, now we need to go and make a folder that says data. And in that data folder, we need to make another folder called InfluxDB. Okay, once that's done, we can go back to Putty. And... Okay, now we click the last line of installation. And I made a little error here because we need to get to the uh, Docker speed test Garafini folder. So do CD space, just hit D and then tab again, and you will be in the uh, Docker Garafini speed test folder. And that's when you can just hit up arrow again instead of typing all that stuff for Docker Compose up and hit that and boom, you are now installing. And install does not take that long. It takes about a good, what, 30, 40 seconds. And you are now installed on your Synology. we go back to our Synology now and you look at the packet center okay you will see it says three containers running that is the speed test it's, it uses three different containers in order to work now we want to look at it on our computer so we're going to uh, make a new tab we're going to type in our Synology's URL and then colon 3000 and if you wish you if you know how to do that you can always change that 3000 to some other number that you wish but really uh, it's up to you anyway as you can see whoop, it's working and uh, that's really just all it is. And if you wait a little while, you will get to see uh, the graph of, uh, over days, weeks, hours, months. And uh, basically, congratulations. And after a little while, it will start to look like this. And if you're wondering why it stops at 400, because I'm only paying for 400. I'm not paying for a gig, because over here that's an extra uh, $60, $70 a month for some crazy reason in this town. All right. Enjoy. Enjoy.